Tonight on Debbie Dunning's Dude Ranch Roundup, we're in Chama, New Mexico at one of the finest hunting destinations in the West, Quinlan Ranch. We're going to see some elk, take a trip to the Mesa, and shoot the biggest guns I have ever seen. So don't move. It all starts right now. Welcome to Debbie Dunning's Dude Ranch Roundup. This week we're in Chama, New Mexico at Quinlan Ranch. This ranch sits along the historic migration route of the entire South Colorado San Juan elk herd, making this the most extraordinary elk habitat in the Southwest. With 17,000 acres, this property is a rich alpine wilderness, right at the intersection of multiple ecosystems that attract a wide range of animals. Hunters who can appreciate world-class, big-game hunting, as well as unmatched beauty of this historic part of the country, they don't need to look any further than Quinlan Ranch. This is a full-service hunting lodge, and the guests who come are hunters in search of big game, but with the same spirit of adventure and togetherness that drives most people to the Dude Ranch experience. The San Juan Mountains are considered the most untamed and wildlife-rich of all the mountain ranges in the lower 48 states. Thousands of wild elk migrate from Colorado to New Mexico through here every year. And owner Soren Peters can't wait to take us around and show off this beautiful piece of property. This is the Quinlan Ranch in Chama, New Mexico. It's 17,000 acres. Wow, it's huge. How long have you and your family owned this ranch? Since 2005. And it was in one family, the Quinlan family, since 1912, the year New Mexico became a state. So it's really been in two families in the last hundred years, the Quinlans and ours. The west fence is the Continental Divide. The north fence touches Colorado. And the east fence is, uh, neighbor is the Sargent Wildlife Preserve, which is an elk preserve owned by the state of New Mexico. We're going through Abiquiu, which is O'Keeffe country and really dry desert, you know, sandstone cliffs coming up here. You get into 8,000, 9,000 feet. The top of the ranch is 10,000 feet where you are in a real alpine environment with elk, deer, bear, badger, and all the wildlife that come with it. There's a high fence part of the ranch and a, a, a breeding program for super trophy elk. What does it take to breed? elk. <laughs> what do you do? Well, a lot of it, once you have the right genetics, they figure out on their own pretty well. It's okay. just... Um, but you just put them all in the same maybe, area? There's uh, breeding pens where the, the cows are in groups of 25 to 30 in a number of different pens, and then there'll be a bull in with them. Okay. And you're always trying to improve your breeding stock on both the male and female side of it. So. Um, getting the best bulls you can and the best cows. We brought some down from Canada a number of years and they are big elk in Canada. Yeah. They have huge elk up there. Where are we going right now? I was gonna show us a couple of the ponds and then go see if we could see the buffalo. Okay, yay! Maybe some elk. Debbie, I'm excited to be able to have you on the ranch and show you one of the parts of the program, which is there's elk and there's cattle, and now we have buffalo on the domestic side, and there's also, of course, all the wild animals that are so nice to enjoy up here. So let's walk up and see if we can see some of the buffalo and their babies. I see some their of babies. the babies. I see a lot of the babies are hanging tight, kind of close to mama right there. Buffalo are first survivors. They'll survive just about anything. And then they're breeders, producers. Yeah. So we're lucky to have a number of little babies and they look pretty darn happy to me over there. Wow, this is truly where the buffalo roam. And hunting buffalo offers an opportunity for sport and a chance to stock up on some, well, the best meat available. <laughs> Your hunting season starts September 1st, right? Archery is in September. Okay. Rifle starts in uh, October. Okay. But most of the summer activities are best enjoyed, let's say, when there's not hunters on the ranch. Well, yeah. But. Because then you can get out into the wildlife, uh, of course, but there is 
place for everyone to bring their families, come fishing, horseback riding, see all the game. No one has to pull a trigger. But for the hunters, we have that uh, in spades up here. The only time I've ever been this close is when I was in Yellowstone and they were right at my window. And that was scary, too. <laughs> I just had to test it. These ones, oh, well, here's a bull coming out on the left. Guys. Wow, he's him. huge. The bull's on the left. These are very calm, tame versions of the, you know, more wild ones at Yellowstone. Uh, yeah. This is great. There's some people who go their whole life and never get this close. And I love that you provide this for your guests. This, is, this isn't this is just a dude ranch. This is, like you said, an animal safari. I mean, just look at that. Here That's we amazing. are. This is yours. Do you ever get sick of it? Never, never. never. <laughs> it's a rough winter around here, I'll be honest. Is but it? Uh, it is a beautiful, beautiful summer. Do you have people come stay in the winter? We do. Okay. Yeah. And what do you guys provide in the winter? There's snowmobiling, they're skiing around the corner at Wolf Creek, mm. and always, as usual, the awesome chef in the lodge. Yeah, that was very good. <laughs> Met him earlier. All right. Let's see if we can't get you on a fish. When we come back, we'll head up to the mountains and see the area. Then we'll do some serious target shooting like I've never done before. So don't move, Roll we'll be it. right back. The Garcia Lodge at Quinlan Ranch in Chama, New Mexico is situated on the hillside, overlooking the beautiful Chama Valley. This comfortable little ranch house has 11 rooms and can accommodate up to 22 people. This rustic space is surrounded by picture windows and spectacular views and furnished with large leather chairs and sofas, perfect for relaxing day after day. Our guide, Matt Berry, is taking us out today to look for some elk. We're a few weeks away from September, which is when migration typically begins. But there could be a few wandering around out here. Who knows? Our first stop is the Mesa, called Gobbler's Knob. It offers a 360-degree view of the entire Chama Valley. It is breathtaking. So everywhere that you see all this ridge line, this mountain, all the way around, if you follow it, like the, the trees right here, mm -hmm. all the way around. It's almost like a is, road. It's the whole ranch. You got the best piece. <laughs> we like Don't it. you think? If you look around, you got the best piece. We call it home. It's pretty yeah. nice. And we have our own private elk herd in here. And the reason we have that is older, older people, you know, that uh, can't handle the more extraneous hunts. They can come in here and still hunt. Uh, people with disabilities, handicaps, uh, can come in here and get it done. Uh, like I said, one of my friends, he was a hunter his entire life and was climbing up his tree stand, fell out of his tree stand, broke his back, and he's paralyzed from here down. And he comes and hunts with us, and we make all that happen. You don't have to stop hunting yeah. just because something bad happened in your life. Well, it's so amazing that you can bring him out here and he can still do that. Yes, it's just it's, yeah. it's beautiful to keep people's dreams going. Next, we're going to tour around the property and see if we can spot a few elk. It is still early in the year, so we may not find much but the drive around the property is totally worth it. Can you pull up your five? <laughs> wow! Woo! Put your arm up, turkey! Woo! You know what? I don't care if people want to call me a redneck. This is my kind of fun. Walking around, we scared up a few grouse hiding in the tall grass. But I'm not looking for birds. I'm looking for signs of elk. As the day progresses, we get deeper into the woods and still no sign of wild game, but an abundance of natural beauty and photo opportunities wait around every corner. Since I personally don't like to hunt for animals, my kind of hunting is finding cool souvenirs that maybe the elk left behind. Elk shed their antlers every year as they grow, and today I found quite a treasure. I said, I hope I find some shed. This is amazing. Oh. Finders keepers, I'm so excited. Look at this. Can you imagine? Having to hold that up just on your head. Hmm. 
Thank you, this deer, for this shed. Matt never wants to disappoint, so we're going to stop by the nearest grazing field to take a peek at the herds as they hang around and eat the lush green grass. These guys are tagged, but they are still wild animals, so they don't let us get too close. Still, it is quite a sight to see so many of them roaming the property and enjoying this beautiful sunny day. When we come back, we're gonna go for a horseback ride through the plains and shoot some explosive targets with some pretty heavy artillery. So don't move, we'll be right back, right here on Debbie Dunning's Dude Ranch Roundup. Today at Quinlan Ranch in Chama, New Mexico, I get to shoot some hunting rifles like I've never had my hands on before. This is a hunting ranch after all, so shooting is a must. And our target isn't bears or elk, it's explosive tannerite. Set up about 100 yards away. Oh yeah. We're gonna be shooting a few cool toys today, including a Steyr HSM1 50 caliber rifle and a Creedmoor Tika T36 with Vortex Razor Scope and an M4 Carbine 556. How do you like that? I don't know which one I want to shoot first. I'm excited to shoot all of them. So let's just shoot the easiest one. <laughs> easiest one? I don't know how to say it. Yeah. I guess the easiest one would be the one to shoot. Let's go, let's go up to that shooting bench. Okay. There you go. <laughs> now you're ready. Snap me that time. Did it bite you? Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to take the safety off, okay? Correct. Go ahead. We're hot. You're hot. We're hot. When you're hot, John. Everybody got ears? There you go. That's that a was good a sound. solid hit. That's a good sound. <laughs> Matt's not going to let a bad arm get in his way. All right, eyes on. He's going to show me exactly how it's done, even with his temporary handicap. So, first off, let's try to hit that swinging target. Uh, the little one? The one that... on the right, yeah. Okay. Oh, the I see two keys mean. to shooting well are stable platform and trigger control. That's taking me a while. Okay, so the very center of... Don't you touch my bag. You don't have any bullets in there. I know, but don't... Oh, man. <laughs> so we have to do this all over again. <laughs> it's good practice for you. <laughs> exactly. <Okay. laughs> I got one, didn't I? <laughs> Thank you, that was awesome. This is so much fun. Once we finished our first round of targets, we get to repack a few new fresh loads and set them up. I'm gonna set them up myself, actually. So, Tannerite comes with a mixing container. It's a binary explosive. It comes with a little empty container. Yeah, and okay. so this one's a little smashed. It's been in the back of the truck. So it doesn't matter, we'll no. still be able to use it. That's right. So we'll open our what is that? I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's very explosive. Yes, you dump that in there. Okay. And so it's like a black, almost like a gunpowder. Gunpowder, gun charcoal. Yeah. And then you open one of these and pour it in there. Okay. What and is this? That's just, it's it's a binary explosive, so it's, that means there's two parts. The whole thing? Yeah, the whole thing. It's gonna blow up real good. That's right. And then what you want to do is put this lid on it and shake it up. Okay, but not too no, much, right? Screw it on. No, you want to actually. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't. Yeah, it's completely safe. <laughs> okay. And then you open it up and put it back into here. Okay. Why do we do that? Why not just shoot it out of this? Uh, because it's there's more space. It's easier to mix. Okay, so that's what we got. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna run down and put these up there myself. Okay. I'm gonna make them really hard to hit. This Steyr HSM1 is a single shot, bolt action, anti-material rifle designed for use only against military equipment, not people. It is huge and one of the most powerful sniper rifles in the world. That's yeah. the bullet. This is the first time I've been. So that's what you're <laughs> shooting. Okay. And you were shooting this. Oh, okay. So 
This is what I was shooting that was incredibly strong. Boy, <laughs> you sure I can handle this? I think you can. Okay. We've got all the faith in you. Yes. Okay. Pull it back? And, no, just leave it in there. Now okay. you're ready to go. Okay. And you'll just take it off of safety and put it to fire. Fire's red. White is safe. Fire. Safe. Okay, so take it off safety. Get comfortable, get comfortable yeah, on it. That'd be great. Yeah, just start working on getting comfortable. Where does on this it. hand go? Just up here? Correct. There are a lot of things that I could be doing right now. I cannot believe that this is the way I am spending my afternoon. It's awesome. Ready? Oh, gosh. <laughs> you didn't tell me it was gonna kick my, oh. You okay? Yeah. It doesn't kick that bad, it just pushes. Well, that, what the heck was that? <laughs> Got it. You got I was it, so man. scared just now. <laughs> now I have to reset. This bell didn't know it has it coming. Here it goes. Oh. Drilled it. Did I shoot the bell? Hell yeah. I got it, right? Yeah. Did it explode? We're not done. When we come back, we'll do some fly fishing, horseback riding, and have a cookout on the mountain. So don't move. We'll be right back, right here on Debbie Dunning's Dude Ranch Roundup. Even at a hunting ranch like Quinlan, fly fishing is still one of the favorite pastimes. Better. Try and make sure that you really pause on the back, just so you don't get too ahead of the line. If we get ahead of the line, then it won't look like a... That's better. Our fishing guide, Tim, has a lot of spirit and a lot of knowledge about fly fishing. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. He takes me out to see what we can catch today. That's it. You can let it sit like that, but sink back down, bump, bump, bump. One more time, try and get it a little closer to the bank. Make that roll cast a little longer. Mm -hmm. You just pull like that. It's nice, so and gentle. Simple. That's all it is. Just, we call it finesse. Okay. That was so gentle. So we're gonna be casting into the wind a little more here, so you just wanna put a little bit more power on it. That's perfect. Let it sink. Start to strip it. Remember, hold the rod at an angle of the line. Grip that line against the cork of the rod, mm -hmm. and you can bump it around us. So just, just using I've had many lessons in fly fishing over the years, but I'm always ready for a refresher course. And every teacher is different, so I like to learn what each of them has to teach me. Try and pull them around us. There you go. Rod tip up, rod tip up, up, up. Beautiful fish there, Debbie. Beautiful fish. Keep it up for me, keep it up, keep it up. Yeah! Look at that. Well done. We did it. Wow, it's beautiful. Can I let go of this for a second? Yes, just like so. I felt like I had the little easy button. That was easy. <laughs> well, you're a good, patient instructor. I really appreciate that. I learned a couple little things today about not so hard. Just it's all finesse. Finesse. As long as My you're kind of word. If you're kind of delicate with it and presentation. Obviously, the way Soren's casting right now, I mean, that obviously requires a little bit more force coordination. But when we're close like this in situations, you can, you can use that technique of fly fishing in any sort of situation. River, right. still water, oceans. I'm thinking high five because you killed oh, it. Oh, I'm thinking that was awesome. Thank you. No problem. You made me look good. That's the whole goal. Donald Gonzalez is a staple here at Quinlan Ranch, and quite the character. He handles the horseback riding, and he's gonna take me today through the South San Juan wilderness for a little saddle time. We're the tail end of the South San Juan, South San Juan Mountains, and, mm -hmm. and you can take that wilderness from there to Wolf Creek Pass. Wow, Yeah, it's Incredible. big country. This is great hiking country, and for the adventurers who love to walk, they could cover this territory with ease. Don, what is your definition of a dude ranch. I'll use the reference uh, of fox hunting. If you're, if you're taking people out, you want to show them good sport and a good time. And safety is number one. Yes. No blood on horses or people. Yeah. Nobody's crippled up. I like that. Okay. I would think it's, you're talking about a wilderness country club. You want to have, you want to be able to do all the fun stuff and have a nice, nice hot shower and a gourmet meal. Mm -hmm. A wilderness country club. Not one I've heard, but I totally agree. Well, this has been an incredible day. And as we wrap up the afternoon, we're going to share a couple cervezas and Dawn's going to give us a special toast. 
Salud. Salud. Amor. Amor. Dinero. Dinero. Y el tiempo. Y el tiempo. Para gastarlos. Para gastarlos. Health, love, money, the time to enjoy it. And friends. <laughs> and amigos. Well, you can add in, you know, after after health, love, money, you can, you can add caballos, you can add El Rancho, you can add, you know, a whole bunch of things. <laughs> To wrap things up for our last night, we're going to hit the glamping site for a little downtime. Socializing and cooking delicious steaks over a roaring fire. What could be better? <laughs> you know what they say, smoke no. follows beauty. Thank you. I always say that. I always say that. I'm like, I think that's what they say, right? Yeah. We have had such an amazing time here at Quinlan Ranch. A special thanks to Matt Berry for showing us such a good time, even with his broken arm. It didn't hold him back. Thank you. It's the camaraderie that you build, you know, you're, most of the time you don't have cell phone service and, and so forth, and maybe you don't want it. And so we get people that come from all over the country to come here and gather and enjoy the ranch. And it's the people that come here every year and the staff that make it work. So, thank you, Don. Thank you, sir. We appreciate you. Salute. 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 To the Quinlan Ranch. <laughs> Quinlan. <laughs> mighty, mighty Quinlan. <laughs> it never ceases to amaze me how many beautiful places there are in this big country of ours. And I am so excited that I can take you with me. I'm always ready to find more. So join me next time, right here on Debbie Dunning's Dude Ranch Roundup. Anyway, all I'm saying is welcome, and it's a great place to uh, come and spend some time. And people need that. It's in this a world. beautiful world, huh, Don? Well, we have folks that fly in, you know, next week. We'll have some guys. When you're ready to book your Dude Ranch vacation, visit our website for more information. And don't forget to tell them you saw it right here on Debbie Dunning's Dude Ranch Roundup.